Oh my god! What? Sorry. How can you be this clumsy? It was a mistake. What mistake? She's huh? a child, it's a mistake. Oh, give me a break, child, all the time. Child, child, child. Good afternoon, miss. I will control this. I'll be careful. Sima, Sima, Sima. I know, I, I just need to hide, okay? Why? Like, honestly, you don't know who I am? Of course I know who you are. You are the TV personality who's so full of himself, proud, arrogant, and won't stop at anything to tell everyone how good looking he is. <laughs> Look, you're just too cute to be a hater, okay? And that is your new pickup line. I'll excuse you so you can have the whole toilet to yourself. Look, I'm actually just hiding from a crazy fan, alright? Yeah, right. TV personality, Perry. Wow. Handsome and charming Perry. Arrogant, you mean? Perry is here. Oh my god. He's the god of TV series. Well, your god was in the female toilet hiding from a stalker. What? what? Perry walked into this restaurant and I didn't even notice him. So, girls, how do I look? Why? Because. I want to use the ladies. <laughs> Do you see the people he dates? Girl, you know which standards. Sit down there. Well, a girl with a great fashion sense, pretty, posh, and thick. That is what every African man dreams of. Oh, she has a day, day for life, the wait. I'm mm. like. How are we? Oh, yeah. Let's eat now. Mm. Yeah, let's eat.
The sketch looks better than the scenery itself. Can I help you with something? Yes, actually you can. Oh, uh, you know the other day I was hiding from a crazy fan? In the female toilet. Uh, I couldn't find a more suitable place to hide. Okay, um, you don't need to explain to me. Point taker. Can you leave me so I can concentrate? Why are you smiling? I do that a lot. Do what? Make ladies lose their concentration. Oh, you know what? Take this place and stay. I am tired. You proud and arrogant. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you all started. What's, what's with the anger and all the hatred anyway? You know what? I'm, I'm really sorry. I'll just go right now and, and I'll see you later. Wait. You can't stay. I'm sorry. Me too. I mean, I'm really sorry. The first time we met was very unfriendly and I wanted to come back and make sure I didn't leave a bad impression. Well, you did, but it's fine now. Okay, thanks, okay. I'll see you later. I said you can stay. Really? Okay, I knew you needed my face to, you know, make your painting more appealing, so yeah, I'll don't stay. Push it. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, why don't we just start from the top? Uh, my name is Pere. And Sima. Yeah, so I'm that TV guy who's full of himself and doesn't miss an opportunity to make everyone know how good looking I am. I'm proud and I'm arrogant and um Really? Yeah. <laughs> well I'm saying all this based on a certain lady I met in the restroom. <laughs> Finally there it is. What? The smile I've been waiting for all day to see. It's really beautiful. <sighs> Wow. I'm so sorry, I'm so clumsy. It's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, sweetie. And yes, you are clumsy. Very clumsy, very, very clumsy. Let me get something to clean. Matter of fact, I'm also clumsy. Ah, <laughs> please stop me! <laughs> Any 
of them try my girl For your love If not your love Feeling so deep and tight Any of them try my girl For your love See, give me those smiles Feel with dimples like that of Ali Berry What are you playing on surprise? Hi, mom I came by to pick some of my stuff. Okay. It's always been in my room, Mom. Okay. Bye, Mom. Please wait for dinner. Um, I'm not hungry. I can't wait to see your dad. He has not seen you for months. He needs to see you, Mom. Not today. I'll, I'll call him later. Promise. I try. Um, bye, Mom. It's been a minute, Ajay. I should be saying that to you because you're the one who's buried in your work and you forgot about the people you love. And a supermodel. Wow, thank you. Tell us, how do you undo your female fans? I mean, the very beautiful sisters that <laughs> run after you in public. <laughs> I have Joy on Monday, I have Esther on Tuesday, I have. <laughs> But pretty much the truth is I, I have nothing but love for my fans. Hmm. Yeah, that's me. Nothing but love. <laughs> well, uh, sorry to disappoint you guys, but I'm, I'm not in the market anymore. No, 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 no. That's the part I don't understand. Can you explain to us what you mean by you're no longer in the market now? Well, um, reason being is that I'm, I'm now in a relationship. <laughs> wow, that's some good news. Hello, pretty ladies out there. Please, can I have the noodles? He's engaged. I am very sure that's... And Sima, the noodles, please, before you drop the plates. Thank you. So, tell us, who is she? Well, um, she's my heart. I like to call her my angel. And I'm not going to give you a name because we don't want to go public with it yet. Anyways, you're not going to run away from this question. Because... In the very near future... I can see you're crushing on this dude. Me? No, never. <laughs> anyway... Hmm. Who wouldn't be? And he's so cute, charming. I feel sorry for whoever his angel is though. Because she's got a lot of competition. Anyway, he's not that kind of guy. You don't know him. He's amazing. He's, he's so... Un <clears throat> Please, can you just tell me <clears throat> about the guy you met? I don't want to talk about it! Okay, sorry. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Andrew. Um, can I can I get you water? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, I'll I'll get it anyway. I'm sorry. See, my was here today. Really? So why didn't she wait for me to come back? She came to get something. Sweetheart, I ask, why did she not wait for me? Not why she came here. She left in a hurry. See. 
What did she come to get? A pink pop. The one I got for her on her third birthday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why she's so attached to it. Sima has refused to grow up. That was the first gift you gave to her. She mm. goes everywhere with it. And she wouldn't let go. <laughs> hmm. I miss my baby so much. She hates me now. I just wonder where it all went wrong. She wouldn't want to forgive me. Don't talk like that. She loves you. She will come around. What is it? Come on, eat your food. What is it? I just lost my appetite. Oh, no. I do. My first trip to China. <laughs> she told me to put it in my box, so you won't miss us so much. <laughs> she hugged me and said, You're the best dad in the world. Oh God, God, I, I miss my baby. Sima is no longer a little girl, trust me. Yeah, I miss my family. Our fault. You know what? I think we should increase Sima's monthly salary. I think we should do it. Wow, <laughs> that's not me. That guy is way cuter than I am. You look better. You look way better. Oh, really? Oh, thank you, sweetie. Yeah. I got you something. What? My heart. Aww. You're so sweet. Now, speaking of your heart, I, I was I saw your interview and I heard what you said about us. But my friend thinks that you're a player. Why would she think I'm a player? Is she cute? <laughs> <laughs> alright, 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 alright. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So your friend thinks I'm a player. Is she single? <laughs> <laughs>
Actually, you were right. Right about what? Hold on, girl. Sima, look at your hair. You're looking so dirty. In fact, you need a total makeover. And I'm getting you out of this house right now. You have no right to come in here and tell me that. I do not need your opinion in this matter. Trust me, you will thank me later, girl. Get up, let's go. Leave me! Let's go now. Aju is waiting for us out there. Finish your call. Girl, we are coming out, okay? I hope you understood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you understood. Ninja. Some. Wow, it's lovely, it's so beautiful. I'm so glad you love it. I wish you guys had told me you were coming to the park. I would have brought my sketch pad. <laughs> Sima, you're the smartest person I know. You can always copy the image in your head and paste it on your sketch pad. Give me those smiles filled with dimples like that of Ali Berry. With you, no more China for now, so so blackberry. I love you more than that fruit and a pot cherry. Gone are the days in a rigare, and can mama Jerry. I go spoil you with it, make you my catty berry. Play you cool reggae, like say I be Bob Mali. I know be a hoop when I talk, I go marry. When the time comes, baby, we go marry. So, <clears throat> when are we meeting Mr. Wright? I don't want to talk about it. What if he's an old man? Tau! Ha! What? If I'm dating an old man, I will simply hide him. Nsima, what's wrong with you? Nothing. It's just that when I love something, it disappears. Sima. Teddy was just a dog. He was my best friend. You just insulted us. We have been friends from childhood. Now you call a dog your best friend? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. But you sounded that way. It's my dad I'm afraid of. He takes everything I love away from me, and I don't want to lose him. Don't tell me you're still not talking to your father. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Quit being stubborn. He's your father. I said I don't want to talk about it. But he loves I said Jesus. shut up! I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> hmm. What? No, 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 no. Don't blame me. After you brought it up. Let it please me. Hi, Mom. I wasn't sneaking in. I... I just didn't want to disturb anybody. Really? Uh, okay. I was in the neighborhood. I uh, wanted to buy some paint. So I thought I should just stop by and pick up my stuff. What are you trying to do? I don't understand you. No. You want to quietly sneak out everything you have in this house. So you won't have any reason to come back here. Don't go there, Mom. Don't. How long do you plan to be there? Really? Now he knows how it feels. 
want you to talk to me in China. I see no reason to. And I'm not a child. I'm sorry, Mom. I love you, but Dad always finds a way of ruining everything. Your father loves you. And he wants the best for you. And he ends up ruining everything? How is that love, Mom? Please, I don't want to talk about that. Then don't! Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mom. I just want to be happy. I want my freedom. Freedom is another word for nothing left to lose. Hey dear. Um, your mom and I were discussing your birthday. Uh, we would like to celebrate it for you. I'm celebrating with my friends. Oh, that's good. Um, they could join us here. No. Thanks. But we already made plans. I miss you. Right. Bye, Mom. She will come around. When? When will that be? you look like a toothpick. Tao. What? I'm just saying. You can eat some flesh. If she means looking like her, I'll pass. Sorry, babes. <laughs> you know what's funny? She eats for the whole nation and I eat for one person. Eh, uh -huh. madam. Madam! Don't you have anything to paint? Come to think of it, you can actually do a portrait of Tao. I wish I could, though. What do you mean you wish you could? Am I not what's painting? You are, Tao, but I need to order a board to fit her in. <laughs> I'm sorry. Babe, so what's up? Um, if my mom calls you, could you uh, tell her that we're hanging out on my birthday? Are we? No, but I'm just avoiding them. So, how do you plan on celebrating your birthday? With my boyfriend. Whose name is? At least give us a name. Okay, um... The thing is, he's very busy, so... When he has, um... A bit... When he has not much work to do, then you guys can meet him? It's okay. Where's my salad? You know, sweetie. Mm -hmm. I really didn't want to say this, but I think I should. I mean, these pictures look too good for you not to have an exhibition. Do you think people will like it? Of course. I think people will love to see your work. <laughs> you think? I'm sure they will love it. Speaking of which, my friend really wants to meet you. 
your friends, your friends. You know what? I want to spend your birthday with you, all right? So I'll see them after your birthday. Okay. Great. And coming to think of it, I mean, the exhibition might be a great place to see them. I agree with you. What do I owe this favor? Nothing. Or this gesture? Nothing. Someone is being an angel. On a second thought. Oh, I take that back. Sorry. <laughs> you have to make that portrait of me. Oh, God, Tao. I told you I've got no board that will fit you, sir. <laughs> but that's true. But that's not funny, I swear. Mm. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I smell something good. <laughs> yeah, just making breakfast for the lovely birthday girl. Aww, that is so sweet. But already, I was supposed to bring you breakfast in bed, but you kind of ruined the plan, so... So what am I having? What are you having? Uh, yeah, you're having French toast. Uh, with a bit of my charms, you know, my good looks, my acting skills, and you know I'm a good cook.
out, you know, from the perspective of an artist. Oh, I've got no, I've, I, I don't know. I've never had an exhibition before. This is amazing. But, um, okay, come. Let's... It needs, I think, I think it should tell a story. So we'd have the happy colors on this side. And then we can take the not so bright colors onto the left. Yes. So let's just get, I like that picture. Just try and put it up there. Um, not the painting, the picture I said. Okay. Yes. Which is like a portrait. Yeah, thank you. Um, nothing here. Why? I just need this be. It's a surprise. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, girl. For what? I know you made my portrait. I still need to see a carpenter, get an easel and a board that will fit you in. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, it's your birthday, girl. I let you get away with it. Oh. Um, okay, yes. I was having a romantic morning with my man. Yeah, how is he, Mr. Man? You called me out from a romantic morning. So he's waiting for me at home. And I have to go. I need to call him. Yeah? Can I call you back? Can I go on? Can I call you when I get back home? Okay. I'll see you later, Sal. Thank you. Uh, no, not right away. We'll probably tell him at the exhibition, okay? Okay. Um, I have a surprise for you at the exhibition when we get there. Oh, you do? Sweetie, come on. By saying yes, you've already made me the happiest man alive. And that's all that matters to me. Hmm? Did you get Hannah? I've been trying to reach out before, but it's not connecting. Hello, how oh, are you? are worried. I'm sorry. Wow, this is beautiful. When did this happen? Um, last night. Hmm. This is so beautiful. And I'm convinced he's not an old man. <laughs> and plus, the guy has a good taste. I can't wait. I hope he has some cute friends. Why? Because. Best of December feather flock together. Anyway, <laughs> please let's stop talking about guys now. We have an exhibition to do. So shall we? Okay. Yeah. Sure, but I'm so scared though. So are you ready? Uh yeah, I just need to make one quick call, okay? Okay. Hey Angel, how are you? Yeah, I'm about to go on air. <laughs> Wish me luck, okay? <laughs> okay, sweetie. I love you too. I'll see you soon, alright? Okay, take care. Oh, Tida. <laughs> Hi. Hey. 
Happy to have you on the show. Thank you. So are we ready? Sure. Hey, Sima. You have to get out there. And why is that? What if they don't like it? What if they don't understand what I'm doing? What if they don't hey, understand Hey, 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 they if... love it. They love it. Besides, if Picasso had hidden in the closet, who would have known him? Well, I've just been nervous. No, I'm not. I'm... Okay, okay. Okay, fine. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Um, what you say? Do I look okay? One minute. Well, no makeup. No, 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 you need it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. Now you look good. All right, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. It comes from a place of pain. Excuse me? What? Who does he think he is? Who? Some man out there. He, said, he, he says my painting comes from a dark place. And... He's right. I painted it when I lost Teddy. Sima, come on. It's your day, remember? You don't have to ruin it. Okay, okay, Sima. Can we go back inside? It's okay, okay? Yeah, let's go back in. Good evening, viewers, and welcome to another interesting edition of Tilda and Golden Show. <laughs> And then I really didn't understand what happened. Like serious. Until today. I thought you were kidding. No, until today. I don't I don't know what happened, really. <laughs> so everything just ended. Like yeah. Anyways, before we continue. The last time you were here, I asked you a question and you tried to run away from it. This time around, you're going nowhere without answering the question. So tell us, are you in any relationship? Oh my god. <sighs> My eye candy is on the TV. Am I in any relationships? Mm -hmm. uh, no, because I'm actually engaged. Wow. Good news. <laughs> Beautiful news. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so... Who is she? Um, yeah, you get the wedding card so you know exactly who she is when it gets to you. Mm -hmm. oh, come on. We will definitely get the wedding card. We just want to know her name, so what's her name? <laughs> I, know, I, I see I'm not escaping this, right? Exactly. Okay, 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 okay. I must warn you, she has a beautiful name, though. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> her name is Tana. Tana. Tana, yeah. Tana. What a beautiful name for an angel. Thank you. <laughs> I must share she's very lucky.
Hey, get into the car. You're bleeding. Please, I need to take you to the hospital. It hurts, right? We were engaged to be married. When he goes on TV and calls another woman, my name is certainly not Tana. I was talking about your hand. No. I need to take you to the hospital. Stop the car. What? Stop the car. Pull over. Why did you do that? Are you crazy? Okay, I know we agreed to keep it under wraps, so why would you go to the TV station to call another woman's Look, name? Look, I don't know who you are. I don't know you. What are you talking about? What is your problem? Okay, I, I, how am I going to get married to you now after all that embarrassment? Married? You slapped me out here in the open and you're asking me to get married to you. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Who is this? Gallery. Hi. Who is this person? Gallery. What is this? Gallery. 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 I'll get someone to force this to open. No, you won't do that. You know how she feels when we invade her privacy. Oh, God, I don't care how resentment towards us. Not when our life is on the line. We're not sure about that. Maybe she just wants to be alone. I just want to make sure she is fine. saw the news. How are you feeling now? Distraught. Heartbroken. I knew you 
had a crush on him. I never knew you both were in a relationship. We were engaged to be married. It is all my fault. It's not your fault. I kept asking him to meet you both. He wasn't ready. I never knew it would make him mad at me. That girl, Tana, she doesn't exist. Uh, uh, she does. The news of their engagement is all over town. Shut up! Your picture is everywhere too. Just that they think you're a crazy fan. That will shut up your mouth. Ah! We need to take you to the hospital. I need a drink. Not a doctor. I'll get it. We were at the gallery. Who invited you to my house? I did. I told you, you never listen. You don't listen. I told you this man hates me. This man wants to kill me. This man doesn't love me. Oh, oh, I, 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 I love you. What have I done to you, Daddy? Daddy, why do you hate me so much? Why do you take everything that I love? Sima, I love you. Oh, you don't love me. You don't love me. Get out of my house. I hate you. Out. 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 What is wrong with her? What? What is wrong with her? What is wrong with her? I don't know, but... Where the pastor? To be honest with you, sir, that was when your daughter's hatred for you started. You see, what she did was to create... It is a medical condition that causes a range of psychological symptoms like seeing of things and um, hearing voices that do not exist. Sometimes the person may find it difficult to distinguish between their own thoughts and ideas from reality. And that of your daughter started when she lost her brother.
and to just to make um, assurance double sure. Thank you, Doctor. I'm Eki, Sima's friend. You're who? Eki. And who's your friend? Sima. I don't know who that is. The girl who said you're engaged. You know your friend is ruining my career, right? And I can have her locked up. She's in the hospital. And why? Everyone thinks she's crazy. What does that have to do with me? I think you should come see her. Maybe to help her. Look, this has already done enough damage to my relationship, okay? And I'm having a hard time explaining this to my fiancé. I don't know what to believe anymore, but all I know is that my friend is hurting. And I'm hurting too, but I'm not going to come there and encourage her. I think you should come and convince her that you're not real. I mean, you are a real person. But you can come and convince her that you're You know what, I'm sorry to cut you short, but I'm really sorry, okay? I can't help you, neither can I help your friend. Please, see that. I wanted the pain to go away. What pain? <laughs> you think I don't know what you're trying to do? <laughs> you're trying to prove that I'm crazy, right? When is it? I am not going to discuss my relationship until Perry gets here. <laughs> you think I don't know? <laughs> Look at you, coming all here trying to play doctor. Of all things, a psychologist. You think I don't know who you are? Who am I? You're the guy who came to the exhibition and criticized my artwork. You criticized my work you, you, and you...
Schizophrenia. <laughs> What's that? It's a medical disorder with a variety of symptoms, such as loss of contact with reality, bizarre behavior, decreased emotional expressiveness, and social withdrawal. Usually, all these symptoms cannot be found in only one person. Oh, that explains why she always locks herself up in her studio. A person with schizophrenia may have difficulty telling the difference between real and unreal experiences, logical and illogical thoughts. How bad is it? I can't tell for now because I'm still evaluating her. Is there any cure or is she on medication? Yes, I placed her under antipsychotic drugs, which will help to eliminate or reduce some of these symptoms, you know, like um, hallucination. And um, as for the cure, there is no cure. Is there something we can do? If you can get Pere to visit her in the hospital, when they come in contact with the real life object of their fantasy, it helps. That especially when the person is different from the one they created in their imaginary world. Okay, um, we'll try our best. Thank you, doctor. But can we see her? Oh, sure. Let's go. Hey darling, sweetie, how are you feeling? Doctor, how long has she been like this? As long as the last time we spoke on the phone. I think she needs to be left alone. Okay? We have to leave now. Sima. Shall we? Surprising you guys think I'm crazy. Sima. Get out. Sima. Get out! Crazy. <laughs> what is he doing here? Tell him to go! Tell him to get out! Mommy, yes, baby. Why does he always take away everything that I love? You'll be fine. Mom, mommy, I want to see Pere. Pere will be here today. <laughs> I told you, I told, I told you that he would come. See, mom. Isn't it beautiful? It is, darling. It is. It's very romantic. 
Fine, baby. Mommy? Yes, baby. I don't want Perry to see me like this. She's washed my hair. Guess we will probably have here. Perry, I told them you were going to come and take me home. They think I'm crazy. Tell them I'm not. You need to sit down. Honey, who is this? Oh, you smell different. Please sit down. Why am I sitting down, Perry? You think I'm crazy too? Please sit down. Why? Why are you looking at me differently? Sit, I will explain things to you, okay? Hi. I will need to ask you a few questions. Are you ready to answer? Yes. What is Perez's favorite color? Blue. What is his favorite food? Coffee black. No sugar. No cream. His favorite band is the American rock band, Red Hot Chili Peppers. His favorite movie is The Legend of the Falls. And his mother is dead. He has two sisters and no brother. And his father lives in Lagos. What else do you want to know? He was born on the 18th of May. 1983. Baby, no, no, please. Look, I, I've never met her before, I swear. What was she so smell so well? She even knows what to smell like. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I've never seen her before. He is right. I was only trying to carry out a test. Doctor, how can you explain what just happened in there? Here, this is a magazine of his interview, and it was found in a room. Every question I asked was in accordance with what we have here. Even when I stopped asking, she went ahead to complete it just the way it was in the interview. So she has been stalking him? Not exactly. He is her object of fantasy. A world she created for herself. And in this world, we're supposed to be engaged. Yes. But she can be treated right. Mm. Because I have a wedding to plan, and I do not want any interruptions. She's under medication. And in no time, she will forget about him. You have nothing to worry about. Doctor, thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. All right.
myself, mm -hmm. our son Simon. Mm. You did your best. It is not your fault, okay? So don't beat yourself. <laughs> hey, stop. It's okay. Can we say the grace? Yes, sure. sure. Bless us, O Lord, 
and this thy gifts which we are about to see from your bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Who is that extrapolate for? I'm sorry. It's a gradual process. 